So, hello everybody, what is going on? It is Kiba Ishimaki here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Emerald. Last time we tackled the well-known Battle Factory. We did pretty good in our challenges, but uh, again, we would have fallen short fairly soon. Outside of that, um, we cleared so far, we haven't cleared, but more so we tackled the Battle Pyramid, the Battle Pike, and the Battle Factory. Next up is the Battle Arena, but as you saw last time, I didn't go over much, we had a Battle Record. I clicked on it on accident, but what it does is with the Battle Factory, it allows you to basically view your last match before retiring, or resting, and so forth and so forth. So you can view your last battle just as a refresher for what Pokemon you have and such. Um, outside of that, again, should be too much of a problem. Um, yeah, we really only have one place to go, and that is to tackle the Battle Arena. Yeah, we're getting a call, but from Ricky. Um, interesting. Shouldn't be too much to worry about, though. The Battle Arena is just right this way. It's not actually that far, or not too difficult to lose track of. Move along. And here we are. The Battle Arena of the toughest teams gathered. Just like the Battle Factory matches that of the Battle Tent over in Sleaport, the Battle Arena is similar to the Battle Tent in Fall Arbor, where points are rewarded based on your Pokemon and such and so forth. In the Battle Arena, the order of Pokemon is totally important. For example, if your first Pokemon has a certain type disadvantage, try making your second Pokemon one with moves that are super effective against the first one. I think that will be a good way of making an effective team. Yep, just like Fall Arbors, you can't choose what happens. You kind of have to just roll with whatever punches and whatever's thrown right at you. I lost on the referee's decision. I don't think it was a good idea to only use defensive moves and not attack. Oh yeah, definitely indeed. I won in judging. Lightning hits consi consistently on the opponent's Pokemon worked. Our match was declared a draw. We ran out of time, both my Pokemon and the opponents had about the same amount of HP left. We're getting a good inclination of just what to expect with this challenge. Based on my Pokemon, it's kind of hard to decide who would be the best Gambits in what situations. The only Pokemon with all offensive moves are Nova, Krakatoa, I think, and Mursu. Oh well, to make it rock. Where the battling spirit of trainers is put to the test, I welcome you to the battle arena. I am your guide to the Sekeo tourney. Do you wish to take on the challenge? Check it out. In the battle arena, we undertake the Sekeo tourney. All participants enter with a team of three Pokemon. The three Pokemon must be lined up in order in which they appear are to appear. During battle, the Pokemon will appear one at, in a, one at a time in the present order. Sorry. Once a Pokemon enters battle, it must remain out until the match is decided. If a match remains undecided in three turns, it goes to judging. If you wish to interrupt your challenge, save the game. If you don't save, you will not be able to continue with your challenge. If you pull off the feat of beating seven trainers in succession, we will present you with battle points. Let's tackle the Battle Arena Challenge. The Sekeo turn. Let's go with open level again. And we're going to bring in... Krakatoa, Nova, Mer Mercy. There we go. Before showing you to the battle arena, you must save. Yes, we shall. We already have 80 hours logged in this game. That's a lot. But this is post-game, of course, and there's a lot to it. I shall now guide you to the battle arena. Not to mention, there's a lot of grinding I've been doing off-screen, so... At the same time, I recommend you guys do that as well. <laughs> Your battle shall be waged in the next room. Please step in. Here we go. Trainer Isaac, step forward, please. Trainer Nash, step forward, please. Set KO attorney, begin! I'm on fire, baby! Yep. Quite literally, just like the battle tents in Fall Arbor. This is done via 3v3 with everything left up to your own, or left up to chance in a way. Whatever moves you use, um, all kind of result in the events. You have to pick whatever works best. Your points will be deducted if you use certain moves. Um, 
and overall you kind of just have to hope you don't miss it too frequently. The three different categories that you can be judged for are mind, skill, and body. Mind is will highlight your offensive style, so doing using moves that do damage um, will get you points. If they miss, it will do less damage. Why are you missing so much? Um, and no points will be rewarded if they are prevented in some way. Touch the turning the water. God damn. We get two points for mind, zero for skill. We win in body. Nice. There we go, four to two. Nice, we win. All while it goes down. Now, of course, the next one. Skill is based off of how successful our moves land, or how successful our moves are compared to them. You can have a type disadvantage, but if your moves connect more frequently compared to them, and or you KO them before it gets to that point, you are more than okay. Not to mention as well, there is body, where it's all dependent on your overall HP compared to your opponent. This again, you go one of two ways. You could either land on you having, or you being successful against them in battle, or leaving it up to the three turn limit to try and KO them before it. Beldum, a Pokemon we haven't really encountered before. I believe it's a steel type only, or it might be still psychic already, but it's gonna have a takedown more than anything for its moves. Yeah, so it's gonna be dishing out a lot of damage pretty quickly. Spirit Break again. Boom. All we can do is just throw and not chip it down. More like KO it pretty easily and not have to worry about too much. We defeated Nash and we move on. No water, please! The winner is Isaac! There we go. Challenge done. Our Pokemon shall be healed. And we continue. Second opponent, we're ready to move on. And the challenge just continues. It's the same thing over and over again. Hey, we're fighting Milkman. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, it is Trainer Adrian, which is really funny. That's our my good buddy. Um, the Grand Poobah. But yeah, uh, again, it's literally just that. Use the team that are best outfitted for this that have good type coverage, and have pretty decent stats overall. Uh, for the um, Frontier Brain, she is known as the Arena Tycoon. It is Greta. She will appear upon reaching our 28th and 56th win. For the 28th win, that would be clearing this at least four times. She appears, and she will have with her a Heracross, whatever level matching to yours, uh, bug fighting swarm or guts for the ability, or bug fighting type with swarm or guts for the ability, with the moves uh, with holding a salic berry, meaning if it's low on HP, its speed will increase extensively. With the moves Mega Horn, Rock Tomb, and Door Reversal. Umbreon, pure dark type synchronized for the ability, holding a leftovers, the moves Fan Attack, Psychic, Confuse Ray, Body Slam, and last up is her coup de gras. It is none other than Sherinja, Bug Ghost type Wonder Guard for the ability, holding a bright powder, making it more difficult for you to hit it. With the move Shadow Ball, return Aerial Ace Confuse Ray. Upon encountering on the 56th win, she will have a um, an Umbreon, pure dark type, synchronized for the ability, holding a Chesto Berry. Oh, Torchic, interesting. With the moves um, Double Edge, Psychic, Confuse Ray, Rest. Gengar, Ghost Poison type, Levitate for the ability, holding a Leftovers, with the moves, let me use my break real quick, with the moves Psychic, Hypnosis, Dream Eater, Destiny Bond, and last up by Brelu, Grass Fighting type, Effect, Spore for the ability, holding a Lumberry, moves Focus Punch, Spore, Giga Drain, Headbutt. This challenge can be difficult or it can be really easy, it all depends on just how well you do in a lot of cases. Fortunately, we've been lucking out pretty well. We're just gonna keep doing this challenge until we either eventually get knocked out or we manage to make it through all seven rounds. We've done we're pretty pretty successful, surprisingly. We've done pretty well. What? Can you calm down? My dogs are just going crazy. You have to hold <sighs> Go on, let's keep on moving. Danella. Yep. The set KO attorney will continue. And all we can do is just keep on trying. Uh, aside from that, Greta is probably one of the more interesting characters, to say the very least. Um, what else is there to note other than, I guess, going over the judging function in this 
um, well, arena. The Mind highlights, of course, your offensive style. It didn't go much into detail, but you get points based off of doing moves that deal damage. Moves that don't really count are uh, Counter, Mirror, Coat, and Buy. You will lose a point if uh, Protect, Detect, or Endure is chosen, so watch out for that. Uh, no other move points, um, no other moves will point reward, so again, be wary. Um, you will also lose points if you miss, I believe. No, that's in skill. Um, and we're just cleaning it. Um, move on to high rating, earn additional two points, and oh, yeah. Yeah, high rating, so just do better, and, and for the most sense, in terms of uh, mind, dish out all the damage you can, and try not to, you know, lose too much health on your own terms. Skill focuses on accuracy. One point is earned for each la attack that is landed, and two points are deducted if you miss. So try not to miss, try to be as effective with the moves as you can, and try to dish out all the damage possible. If a move is uh, cost to fail by protect, detect, or flinch you from fake out, or paralysis, um, um, no, if it's caused to fail by protect, detect, or uh, fake out, you will just not be rewarded points at all. However, if you are paralyzed or you miss because of something else, you will lose points for it. Uh, aside from that, the higher rating, of course, you'll get more points out of it. And loss of his body, which all depends on how much HP you have by the end of it. Nothing special, nothing too major to note, but that is an short just exactly what the battle arena is next up is your fourth opponent to keep it going we're doing pretty well surprisingly um but yeah i guess we'll just continue and we'll see exactly what happens as we press on boy another belda hmm that interesting did pretty well against it last time with Krakatoa. Krakatoa has just been sweeping this in all honesty. I'm actually very surprised by how well uh, Krakatoa has been doing. And then we get critted. Whew! I knew it. I can tell a crit when I see one. Then I have to say something and boom, all your health just has to be sapped away. Huh. Alright, well, I mean, not much more to say other than I guess go over some side stuff which mainly points to Beldum seeing as Beldum is here. Beldum is an interesting Pokemon. It doesn't appear anywhere else in the game. However, at the same time, it kind of does appear elsewhere. There is but one location we can find it, and that location is very, very familiar to us. We'll actually be visiting that once we are through with um, Battle Frontier and all the Gym Leader rematches, which won't take us very much longer in all honesty. We can actually speed through them pretty quickly. We could probably get three done in one episode, or maybe two done in one episode. Uh, all depends on my luck in a way. But uh, if you're keeping in tune with levels just like mine, you should be pretty high leveled and should be able to easily one-shot a lot of our opponents. I can't go over moves specifically with each of the gym leaders because they're not provided. Um, you can only rematch them a total. Well, you can rematch them a total of four times. And upon the fifth or the last rematch, which is the fifth battle with them, they will have um, a full team of six, all with updated moves entirely, and their levels will be ranging from about 42, with Roxanne being the lowest, to I believe uh, about 57, maybe 60, with, um, what's her name? No, what's his name? With Juan, the eighth gym leader. Again, that's just how this the way it rolls, all you have to do is just be ready, be well prepared, and have your team kind of outfitted for double battles overall. There isn't much more to say or to it. It's really straightforward and blunt. You just kind of have to be well prepared and well equipped for it. And of course, we're going to be going over each battle as we get to it, at least showing off the second rematch. And maybe in due time, um, you guys will end up seeing... Not me come back for this, but more so if you guys continue to play and decide to go for Pokédex or even attempt to complete the Battle Frontier itself, you will be able to see all the various um, matchups that you'll have against the other gym leaders with their um, Pokémon all, you know, kept out and ready. <sighs> Boom. We're just 
brick breaking on health. And the takedown is just not going to do a lot. We're always going to have a HP lead against Beldum, and I think we're going to KO it. Anyways, uh, excuse me. Takedown again. Beldum, though, Beldum is an interesting Pokemon. Of course, we can find one, and in due time, we will go more into detail about it. But what there is to note is that it is a steel. Psychic type, or maybe just a pure steel type. No, I think it's steel psychic because it's not taking that much damage from fighting. <sighs> Ooh, I can't use a. You know, screw it. We'll just go hyper beam. Um, it's a steel type. Does a lot. I mean, a lot of damage. It can tank a lot. It has loads of health. However, the downfall is getting a Beldum. It'll only have takedown until it evolves. I believe it, around the 30s into Matang, which we've seen Steven use one before. And Matang is a pretty powerful Pokemon with clear body for the ability, and eventually um, there will be Metagross. But uh, that'll take some time for us to get to. Can't really go too in depth into it because it's not available for us to get yet. Though it is technically, we're not going to be going after it too quickly. Um, we're going to save it for another time when I have the opportunity. And basically, once we're clear of the Battle Frontier and clear of the um, clear of the arena, clear of the Battle Frontier in general, and cleared with all the gym leaders. Jeez, I keep stumbling over my words and I keep getting lost. We're doing surprisingly well. I mean, I've gotten pretty easy type matchups, fortunately, so I want to say in a sense, comparable to all the other battle arenas or the Battle um, Frontier um, gyms, something like that. I don't know what the, the battle facilities. There we go. Uh, amongst them all, in terms of probably easiest to most difficult so far, I want to say tackling the arena will probably be your most will be your most straightforward. Of course, you have the pike, which can be easiest if you're lucky enough to just get no battles. But um, outside of that, if you run into a bunch of um, if you run into if you take on the battle pike, it's probably going to be the most easy for you. It's straightforward. You get an idea of where to go. You got three paths to take, and you might get really lucky and just not have to fight once. Uh, next up would probably be Battle Arena because it's seven straight battles in a row. Your Pokemon are all outfitted to your choice, and you pick what, what, what works best. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um, dude, this is where the difficult part comes in. Wiggly Tough, of course. Um, aside from Battle Arena, or um, Battle Pike and Battle Arena, I want to say Facility is going to probably go down as the most difficult one for you. Facility will be the most difficult. Second most difficult will probably be, probably be Battle Pyramid, because those are the few that we've already gone through. Yeah, so easiest will probably be Pike. Second easiest will be Arena. Most difficult will be Factory, and then... Uh, second most difficult will be Pyramid, mainly because it's kind of, well, it's, it's sort of all up to chance, but it's also all up to how well you can kind of play stuff out. Ooh, here comes the ignoring, the annoying part. <sighs> Dish out more damage. Yes! Yes! <laughs> uh, if you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, um, it is currently as of recording this it's december 24th so it means i think as of this going up it's already christmas or it's past christmas so happy christmas to all you to you all of you happy holidays um we get two for mind two for skill and two for body yep we completely take care of this with stuff um what is it but yeah it's december 24th for me right now i'm from well i'm just to let you guys know, I guess, or if I haven't said so already, I'm Hispanic, I'm Mexican. And right now we're making tamales. So, yeah, we're just working on that, or my family's working on that. I'm taking a little break to record some because I've already done the majority of my task, and now I just have to wait on my siblings to do the lojas, the, the corn husks. But aside from that, uh, all we have to do is just keep on. Um, they're just asking about do I want more greens or red, and I want greens because I like spice. I love spice. Uh, but anyway, aside from that, we're just gonna keep wailing on these and hopefully kill them and clear our seventh and final fight. We'll be good. We will have defeated our second, actually, um, our frontier, our second uh, battle facility run, which is actually really cool. 
This is uh, something I can actually say with uh, ease. Boom, hyper voice, hyper voice. Use hyper voice again. You swallow. Oof. Okay, well, I mean, you're not doing much damage against me. Safeguard is up. Let's just use hyper beam. Boom! We are good. Uh, yeah. We cleared a second frontier challenge, or second battle facility challenge, which is awesome. We have more battle points. And we're good. Congratu we congratulate you for your splendid string of wins over seven trainers. My dear challenger, in recognition of your indefa indefatigable spirit, indefa indefatigable, I don't, can't say that word, indefatigable, indefatigable spirit, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. Please accept these battle points. We obtained one. Which ain't much, but I mean, hey, it's something and it gives us a chance to just get more into it. Your achievement will be recorded. Please wait while I save the game. Shall I record your last battle arena match in your Frontier Pass? Yes. It was recorded and we await your challenge. Boom. That is seven KOs in a row and that is our current record. If we want to go back, we clear it three more times and we can run into Greta. But with that, that is the battle arena completed. We did pretty well. Honestly, I sort of surprised. I think that's the combination for me, Krakatoa, Nova, and Mursu. They served pretty well. They held out for me in a lot of situations, which I'm very glad for. But that'll be it for now for me. Hope you guys did enjoy, because next time we're going to tackle the Battle Palace. Then it's the Dome, and then it's the Tower. Watch your Pokemon battle. Your spirit will be tested. Hope you guys did enjoy, though. Hope you guys continue to enjoy. And I'll, of course, see all you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.